Hey, what's up? Good morning. Oh, no, good afternoon, guys. Dexter yeah, and Tanya here. So we are live right now on uh, Facebook and also on Instagram. So, you know, Tanya and I, we, we decided that we were going to, uh, we've been doing Wanna stories. Yeah, we've been, we've been doing stories that matter. We did it a couple of years ago and it was really exciting. And he said, well, you know what? Let's bring it back now, right? As Tanya said, our, our contribution, right, to everything that's going on. So thank you guys for joining us. So all this simply is, is short stories. And you know, guys, you know how we were young and, you know, the crisscross applesauce, you sit down and the teacher reads a story, you get really excited. That's all this is. And we, we know most of you guys are sitting at home and you're working. Some of you guys are like, what's the next step? Well, we would, just wanted to bring up a conscious disruption to your day uh, just for a few minutes to give you an awesome story. Anything you want to share at this time no, before we get started? No, just love it. Thank you guys so much for joining us at this time. We're going to pretty much just hey share. Some of you may have already been spending some time with us in this moment. Yeah. Uh, but just take a listen. We won't be before you long at all, but I guarantee you, we promise you, it will definitely be impactful. It's Absolutely. always good when you're able to take something in. And when you're taking it in, it just does something to you. It just does something to you just in your inner soul. And it's yeah. out of that place that you will find yourself behaving for the remainder of your day. Yeah. All right. That's so good. let's do it. All right, guys. So the, the story, the short story this today is uh, encouragement. So you guys have a listen. It's called, and some of you may have heard the story. That's, that's cool, right? Well, we just got to hear it again. It's called uh, The Group of Frogs. As a group of frogs uh, was traveling through the woods, two of them fell into a deep pit. When the other frogs crowded around the pit, they saw how deep it was. They told the two frogs that that were there, there was no hope left for them. However, the two frogs decided to ignore what the others were saying, and they proceeded to try and jump out of the pit. Despite their efforts, the group of frogs at the top of the pit were still saying that they should just give up, mm -hmm. that they'll never make it out. Eventually, one of the frogs took heed to what the others were saying, and he gave up, falling down to his death. The other frog continued to jump as hard as he could. Again, the crowd of frogs yelled at him to stop. Stop the pain and just die. He jumped even harder and finally he made it out. When he got out, the other frog said, did you not hear us? The frog explained to them that he was deaf. He thought they were encouraging me Ooh. the entire time. Wow. The moral of the story, people's words can have a big effect on mm. others' lives. Think about what you say before it comes out of your mouth. It might just be the difference between life and death. Woo. <laughs> That's pretty heavy, right? It is deep. That is so huge. Yeah. Oh my God, did you all catch that? Yeah, that's Let's uh, process that a little bit. Even with this, I would love for you guys to go back later, even with you, for those who have children, other family members there in the home with you, hit play and let them hear that story and then pause and talk about it yourself and just process it a little bit. But let's just see. So here we have mm -hmm. a frog who falls into a pit. Yep, two frogs. Two frogs fall falling into, into a, a deep pit, pit. Yep. where there are already other frogs present. Right. So apparently those frogs had given up. Right. So, no, there were a group of frogs walking. Two of them fell into a deep and pit. And then the other The frogs, others were at the top. They didn't fall that's in. That's right. But they were looking down at the two that fell in. And they were basically telling them. Just give up. You can't make it's, it out. It's too deep. Give up. You can't make it out. Isn't that something? It is powerful. Because yeah. here's the thing. The frogs end up coming out of the pit. Why? Well, here's the thing. So, one of them gave up. He listened to the naysayers. He listened to the negative talk. And he then, just gave up. So he fell to his death. But the other frog kept jumping. He was. Yeah. So the other frog was deaf. He was deaf. And when he was looking up, all he could see was. And he didn't know. But what was being spoken was. Yes. What was being spoken? Don't do it. You can't do it. Just give up. Forget the pain. Forget the pain that you're in. 
But he and just give up. But he saw gestures. Right. He saw. He saw. And, and he processed within his own mind that they're encouraging me. Right. And it was through that encouragement that gave him the motivation to basically jump harder and higher and come out of the and he came out of the pit and that he did. Yeah. And it's amazing yeah. how the other ones still asked him, didn't you hear us telling you? Right. So when they that came out, you couldn't do this. Isn't that something in that amazing. So when he jumped out of the pit, so he proved that it could be done. So when he jumped out of the pit, even the ones that were screaming at him said, did you not hear what we told? That is amazing to me. It is. That they still came with that negativity even and after. Even after. He was able to come out of the pit. That's amazing. It's like, that's that's what it, <laughs> that's what we mean when we talk to people about a renewal of the mind. Right. Because even for him, those, they didn't have a renewal of the mind. That they still were walking and operating in the negative mindset yeah. that they were already in. So there's got to be a renewal in, the, in order for there to be a transformation. But here's the biggest thing for me, Dexter, that I get. Even though we know, even in the moral of the story that talks about being mindful of the words that we release because our words are powerful and our words mm -hmm. can be a matter of life and death, right? That's, That's huge. But who still has the greatest power right. over the words That's being released boom. unto you? Boom. Because see, the boom. words have no power except they register within whomever is hearing it. Right. And then that individual is the one who actually gives those words the power. You see that? Yeah, words are good. powerful, but I still have the authority over those words and how they're going to be manifested in my life. Yeah. So here we have the frog in the pit and we have people spe spewing of people, frogs, spewing out the words but he didn't hear them. So he didn't process that instead in his mind. Right. He processed encouragement. He processed they're they're calling me up to my um yeah. me being delivered. Right. They're giving me the encouragement that I need to come up out of this. And it's from that place that he was able to come out of that pit. Not from the words that were spoken, but from what sure. he processed in his mind. Who has the power? Right. It's amazing. The story, and, and you know, the story Who has is, the power? It's a powerful story of not only encouragement, but powerful, but perception. Mm -hmm. Right. So think about this. Allow me to do this visual. So if I were speaking negativity to Tanya, if I was speaking negativity and I released the words and they were going towards her, but her perception of and knowing who she is. Mm -hmm. The words would just hit and fall mm -hmm. that she wouldn't internalize those words. Mm -hmm. So it didn't matter what I said. Mm -mm. It's a it's the matter of who she knows who she is and that she has the capability and the potential to rise above any of the circumstances. Mm -hmm. Only when people say things to us, this is a lesson for all of us. Only when things are said to us and we have an energetic and an emotional reaction from those words. If that happens, then that means the words have tapped into something inside of us that has connected with what they're saying. Yes. It's amazing. It the is. frog was deaf. It's, he was he deaf. Was deaf. His perception was they are cheering me on. Let me leap higher. Let me go higher. Let me make it happen. And he did it. And, and he then did it. He got to the top and they still hit him with negativity. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> so look. Okay, go ahead. No, no, I, I was just going like to say this. As you guys are, we're all quarantined. We're all dealing with a new normal, a new reality. Some of you guys are going to say, you know what? Now it's time for me to start that business. Now it's time for me to write that book. Now it's time for me to start that podcast. Now it's time for me to link up with other people virtually and start doing some masterminding. Now is the time for me to do that. You're going to have people who are going to say you're crazy. You're going to have people who say this is not the right time. It's the time to go deaf. You're going to have people that say, who do you think you are? Go deaf. Allow those. Yeah, go deaf. <laughs> That's good. That's all I got to say. Go deaf. Go deaf. <laughs> go deaf and get it done. And I tell you, people know one of my favorite artists is India Ari. I was saying to Dexter before, I said, you know what? It's the lyrics in that song. There's hope. 
How many of you know it when she says, in the back country of Brazil, I met a young brother that made me feel that I could accomplish anything. You see, just like me, he wanted to sing, but he had no windows. He had no, no doors. doors. He lived a simple life and was and extremely poor. On top of all of that, he had no eyesight, but that didn't keep him from seeing the light. He said, what's it like in the USA? And all I did was complain. He said, well, living here is paradise. He taught me paradise is in my mind. You know that there is Come on. Come on. So he was poor. He was poor. He had no eyesight. No eyesight. And what was the... Uh, the he had no... He lived in a house, no windows. The house had no windows and no and doors. No doors. I'm like, how'd you get in there? But hey, I guess he didn't have so a he front had, and a back and a side. Had, so, but he was in paradise. But he said... He said, so what's it like in the USA? He said... <laughs> But all I did was complain. He said, but living here, that's what he taught her. That's it's good, paradise. Tony. That's good. Because paradise is in the mind. What's in your mind? And I'll say that's this good. as we bring this to a close. Yeah. You're looking at a lady. You're looking at someone who has lived much of her life where I internalized. There were things spoken to me. There were things done to me. And I ate it. And it was inside of me. So I will allow words to not bounce off of me the way my husband but described, but I allowed it to come on the inside. Yeah. And it was in that place that I then began to live. But I stand before you today as someone who had a renewal of the mind, but it's because I began to understand who I was in him, in God. Mm -hmm. There's an identity that we all have to grab hold to. You have to know who you are. And when you do, regardless of what anything happens on the outside, regardless yeah. of anything that's released, regardless of anything that is spoken, when that thing comes, what repels it is you. Mm -hmm. Go deaf. Go deaf. So guys, listen, this is uh, Stories That Matter, episode two encouragement so we'll be back on monday with another refreshing story please share this. we want you guys to become like children again yeah at noon monday wednesday and friday become like a kid again we're going to bring you a story that's going to uplift you it's going to encourage you yes. it's going to move you to the next level and we want you guys to know that during this time that we're living in with all that's happening in the world we want you to go deaf and get the stuff done that you need to do because you know who you are. All right, guys, I we are it. the upgraders. We may not know you, but we know what's in you. We'll see you on Monday at noon. Share and, and tell share. other people to join us. All right, please guys. share. See you later. And if you just yeah. catching this, go back and go hear back. the story from the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Go back. We'll All see right. you guys. Bye. Bye bye.